This interview is brought to you by NTT Data. NTT Data delivers on your mission by combining superior talent and over 55 years of government expertise with a comprehensive portfolio of technologies from cloud, security, and consulting to modernization and IT solutions. We're your ideal partner for reimagining your healthcare IT. Visit nttdataservices.com. Hi, I'm here with Steve Posnack, Deputy National Coordinator for Health IT at PIMS. So great to be with you on site. Thanks yeah, thanks for having me. Uh, so what are you most excited about in the upcoming year? It's a big year for us. Uh, obviously, it's the, uh, the the last year of President Biden's first term here, and um, we've got a lot going on. Uh, we have regulatory implementation. We're actually working on a second proposed rule. We call it the HDI2 proposed rule, so that's due out in, in a, a number of weeks. And um, a lot is related to the what's called Trusted Exchange Framework and Common Agreement, TEFCA, to make sure I use the acronyms, right? Good old and uh, <laughs> that launched right at the end of last year. And so this is a real big implementation year for us. Absolutely. That's great. Um, we've seen so many updates over the past few years with info blocking, uh, data sharing. You mentioned it with the HTI, HT12, yes. um, TEFCA, et cetera. H- how do you see these kind of evolving over the next few years in the health IT landscape? Yeah, so they've all been various different puzzle pieces in terms of both establishing new policy, new technical infrastructure, advancing some of the standards requirements that we have. So one of the big standards baseline increases that we had in the HTI1 regulation was moving the United States core data for interoperability from version one to version three as of January 1st, 2026. And so that'll be a new step up for industry. But all of these are really putting together a lot of pieces that we've been working on ever since the publication of the 21st Century Cures Act in 2016. So it's been five, six, seven years now in the making of, of really putting all those puzzle pieces together and uh, optimizing uh, different policy and technical requirements as well as creating an opportunity for the market to innovate. What, being here at Hims, it's all about the collaboration. What's been some of the feedback you've heard in, in regard to some of these policies? Yeah, um, you know, it's certainly an opportunity for more education. People are excited, though, which is great. Uh, you don't normally hear that with uh, regulatory work in some cases. Uh, a number of different sessions on TEFCA as well, which has been rewarding and I think exciting for our team. Uh, a lot of hard work went into, you know, standing it up. So it's great to see the, the industry really embrace, you know, what's going on from a network capacity perspective. Awesome. Uh, I, I guess the, the big topic of the conference is AI. I'm sure you've heard plenty of people talk about that uh, this week. But how are you starting to think about AI ethics and ha- how to put it into policy? Yeah, it's a big issue. Uh, we are AI optimists, as our national coordinator would say. Um, he's actually a co-chair of the department's task force in, in HHS related to, to AI. And so there are a number of federal agencies within HHS that have uh, AI responsibilities and or an intersection with their mission. Uh, we've included certain uh, regulatory requirements as part of our certification program that was in our HTI-1 final rule. So increasing transparency and understanding uh, the explainability and uh, opportunity for clinical users to get a better sense of what are these tools that are built into my product that may not necessarily be that easy to, to figure out what's going on behind the scenes. And so we are working at the same time. On one hand, as, as optimistic as we are, we do recognize with new technology there, there is some potential for risk and how to mitigate that best. Absolutely. So uh, what are you looking forward to here at the conference? Are you engaging more with the industry about and kind of getting the word out there with some of the new policies? Yeah, it's always a good opportunity. I say it's, uh, it's always a great day to communicate at, at our office. Um, so we've certainly been leveraging the in-person engagement, which has also been fun. I mean, a number of us have been virtual for a long time, hybrid now, and it's great to just see our peers in person, uh, sit down, have real-time conversation, interrupt each other, <laughs> and uh, you know, really talk shop. So that's been really rewarding as, as part of being here. Awesome. Well, thanks for catching up. It's great to, to meet with you in person. Great. Good to see you. Yeah.